Folks, Lotus is returning to Monterey Car Week, and it's going to be a fantastic week. And it all starts this Friday. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be the in introduction of the Emira, the Vija, and it's also going to be the 622 Redford, that is. It's going to be an awesome time. This is what this video is about, folks. So this is just the introduction and let you know what's going to happen during that event. Um, remember, like, share, and subscribe, and enjoy the video. They recently unveiled Amira, the last petrol power car from Lotus in the best of its breed. It's making its U.S. debut at Monterey Car Week. And this is awesome. The flagship event for Lotus will be at the Quail A Motorsport Gathering. The Amira will also make its dynamic debut at the legendary Laguna Seca Raceway for a very special celebrity track day. Now more details on that in the future. What a fantastic design. Awesome, fantastic. The recently re un unveiled Emera, the last petrol powered car of its kind from Lotus and the best of its breed, will also be at the Quail. Before that, it's gonna be heading to the nearby Laguna Seca Raceway for a very special celebrity track day. Now more details on that in the future. Until then, look at this epic, awesome design by Lotus. This is going to be one fantastic car to see in your rearview mirror as it's coming up on you on the highway, telling you to move out the left lane. Fantastic. The last of its breed, and yes, it's going to be at the Laguna Seca Raceway. Lotus returns to the Monterey Car Week. The Little Zivija Pure Electric Hypercar is also taking center stage in California with a striking all new livery that will resonate strongly with the U.S. motorsports fans. Yellow with blue accents, can you imagine that? Now the color scheme is going to be inspired by the iconic Lotus 99T from 1987. The car in which the Formula One legend Ardian Senna was victorious at the year's Detroit Grand Prix. The 99T featured Pioneer Computer Control Active Suspension which allowed it to ride on bumpy and technically demanding downtown circuit streets. The race win has become legendary F1 circles. Following Lotus' innovative approach, the car outstanding technical capabilities, it was also the last Lotus to win the Cena.
The Lotus Perry of the Vija in Umera will also be joined at the Quail by the Redford 62-2, as you see here. Now, all three will be a part of a press conference held at 9.15 a.m. on Friday, August 13th at the Lotus Stand. This is Redford 62-2. And boy, take a look at this. This is just straight up awesome, folks. What a beautiful car by Lotus. Known as the Radford 62-2. An amazing car. Stunning. Definitely stunning. 600 horsepower. Retro styling. Exclusivity. This is just awesome, folks. What a ride. Oh, yeah. Some food at that, too. <laughs> what a ride, folks. <laughs> Seeing if you with me. Now, Radford Motors has delivered what is promised to be an awesome, awesome piece of kit. Now, the first modern coach build by Redford, the first project of the British venture, consisting of the Formula One champion, Jensen Button. Now, car designer Mark Stubbs and TV personality Art Anstead inspired the legendary Lotus 62 racer from the 1960s. This is a street legal machine, folks, with beautiful retro styling, uh, modern day chassis, a race inspired suspension, an interior feature from the outgoing Lotus Evora, the familiar 3.5 liter supercharged V6, mid mounted and produces 600 horsepower. Just look at that back end. That back end is epic. What a back end. I mean, and the exhaust is just a piece of, a piece of art. Now, there are specifications, three specifications for this particular automobile. The 62.2 Classic has 430 horsepower, while the Golden Leaf has an increased 500 horsepower. Now, due to the upgrade camshafts and pistons, the JPS is the top dog. Thanks to the supercharger, great tuning software, a six-speed manual is also found in the Classic, and a seven-speed clutch is optional. Now, the Gold Leaf and JPS are equipped with DCT transmissions, or must I say, DCT and electronic limited slip differential. This is awesome. Take a look at that. This is fantastic, folks. Straight up fantastic. Now, the lower two trims are going to have four piston AP racing brakes. And boy, let's check, let's take a look at those shoes. Yes. Racing brakes by AP, folks. Now, the power comes from a carbon ceramic units. Now, regardless of your spec, the Type 62-2 had the same Lotus Source monocoque chassis, along with a bespoke subframe with added strength and stiffness. The total dry weight comes out to be an amazing 2,204 pounds. And this keeps in, this keeps in line with Lotus... Um, making lightweight, beautiful cars. And especially the founder, Colin Chapman. That was his philosophy. Now Jason Benton personally calibrated the car to make it feel alive and keep you on your toes. Now you're gonna enjoy this outstanding steering. The driver's feedback is like no other on a highway or wherever you may be. Styling wise, the rear wing I mean, I had to take a look at these wheels. Look at those mirrors. This is fantastic. Now, that's the rear wing right there. I mean, just look at that. It's cool because it looks like it's a part of the car. That's what makes it fantastic. It's just straight up fantastic. It's called the double ducktail spoiler. And this is for better downforce. This is just fantastic. What a fantastic automobile. When, ooh. Now this Evija is going to be there too. And it's going to be in this livery that you see here. So you see a yellow, but this red and stuff going to come together. So it's, I can imagine it being yellow here and red here. It's just going to look fantastic, folks. You got $3 million? Give me a shout out. All right. Now... In the end, I mean, you're talking about LED headlights, wide bore ceramic coated exhaust. Let's take a look at that wide bore ceramic coated exhaust. There it is right here, folks. Ceramic coated exhaust pipes. That's the tips. 
the interior is driver focus uh two compact wing mirrors cameras mounted inside the housing that project exterior images to screen on each a pillar that's fantastic and that's some crazy technology that's gonna look really nice now the rear view mirror has been swapped for a camera since rear visibility isn't possible because of the rear panel that's straight up solid that you see here you also have a digital rear view screen a six inch driver gauge cluster screen wi-fi and bluetooth connectivity a five speaker sound system and you know it's going to probably be top of the line like no other i could i could imagine being a bang all of a sudden or something 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 really nice production is only going to be limited to 62 examples and it's going to kick off in california check it out folks it's going to be this this coming week you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video a automotive reviews have a fantastic day and remember like share and subscribe hi this is bruce from ao automotive reviews encouraging you to subscribe to like and to continue watching these videos thanks for watching and i look forward to putting out a lot more great content thanks for watching and subscribing much love Peace out.